हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट इम्प्लीसेट वेट इन आवर कोडिंग इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द बेसिक एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इम्प्लीसेट वेट लेट अस बिगिन आवर लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गेट टू नो द सिंटेक्स ऑफ इम्प्लीसिट वेट एंड वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट इन आवर कोड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इम्प्लीसिट वेट फर्स्ट In bookish language, it is written that implicit weight tells the wave driver to wait for a certain amount of time before throwing a non-such element exception. It is written in bookish language. It is this language means that you have to wait for some certain amount of time before throwing no such element exception. You understood, I think. Let us see the syntax of. implicit weight you need not remember this syntax we will practice it and we will remember it so let us try to implement the implicit weight syntax in our code we will use a code for dynamic drop down which i told you in my previous lectures if you haven't watched this lecture yet i will provide the link in my description box this this is the code for automating the spicejet site in which we have to click on the radio button this is written for radio button then we have to dynamically click on the the drop down for for kolkata then we will select kochi afterwards we will select the date and lastly we will select check boxes and enter the search button you can see here also one by radio button we will click departure city we will click on kolkata after kolkata we will click on kochi we will select the current date that is 29th of june after which we will select any of the check boxes present here and lastly we will click on the search button this this was the code written for dynamic drop down now we will use the concept of implicit weight in this code let us see here i have used thread dot slip in every every line you can see that after every locator i have written thread dot slip but now i have come i have commented out commented out this because i will use the concept of implicit weight here implicit weight will help us to globally decla declare the time which the driver will wait for any locator before throwing an exception that is no such element exception which i have written here you can see that so let us see how to write the implicit weight syntax here you can see that after initializing the driver you have to write the code for implicit weight syntax of implicit weight for this we have to write driver dot driver dot after driver you can see that you need not remember a a line here you have to write driver dot m u write you will get manage click on enter you will get driver dot manage dot click on t you will get timeouts you will get timeouts select timeout and then select on click on dot you will get implicit click on implicit weight you got the syntax here you need not remember a character of this syntax after practicing for many times you will by heart this syntax so you got that syntax which which i have written here you can see that driver dot manage dot timeouts that implicit weight and here you have to pass two arguments one argument is the time which we want to give and this is the time unit we have to mention here you can see that it is written that you have to mention time unit dot seconds so wh what i will do i will write here t after writing t put on control button click on control button press it and try to click on click on space bar you will get time time unit select time unit and then after time unit click on dot 
you will get all the units you want to select here i want to select seconds because i want 4 seconds 5 seconds for each locator step so i will select seconds here you can select any of the units according to your need i will select seconds so i will click on the seconds and here you have to mention how many seconds each step should wait here i have written two seconds for each step so i will mention here two you have to write two it will denote that you have to wait for two seconds after getting the locators each step for each locator you have to wait at least two seconds before throwing any exception which is no such element exception you got the syntax how to write the implicit wait syntax here after this you have to save it after saving it it will start the code start the running process in which it will hit the spicejet site and after waiting for six seconds it will do all the things which i had done in dynamic drop down lecture but in your mind you can think that why you have used thread dot slip 6000 here because this is the disadvantage of implicit weight here which we will get to know after running this code let us run this code and we will get to know what is the disadvantage of implicit weight then we have saved it try to run this control f11 after clicking control f11 the code will run and the spicejet site will get open and there after clicking on a spicejet site it will click on the radio button select kolkata then kochi then it should select the current date after which it will select on the check boxes any check boxes for which i have given the locator and then it will click on the search button you got this one way it will select departure date it will select kolkata then after which it, it will select kochi after which second uh, the, the current date student it selected and clicked on search button but you did not get what is the disadvantage of implicit weight here after getting the output you will get to know what is the disadvantage of implicit 